My next speaker and I have been exchanging vehement emails for the past couple months. We started with uh, some discussions about what we're going to talk about tonight. And then it's like, wait a minute, am I talking to you or your husband? Because it turns out they swap email addresses all the time. Have you ever had somebody do that to you? Or it's, is it a family email address or is it a personal email address? And her husband's right here and he's looking at me funny. And that's okay. And so I want to welcome our next presenter, who is a, a coach of many types. She has a fascinating story to tell us, Miss Sharice, quote, Early Jackson. Is it on? I guess so. Am I on? Good evening. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. I like that. <laughs> First of all, I want you to, you clapped a little bit, but I want you to do me a favor. And put your hands together and clap real hard for me. Come on, aggressively. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, let me tell you why you just did that. You just did that in honor of the Geek Ads Club, who this, this event is done for. So what you did was you supported the Geek Ads Club, whether, whether you wanted to or not. So I wanted you to clap for yourself because you helped support an organization of women that are empowering other women through technology and education. Now, it's for women to join. Now, I got a few minutes because I haven't looked at the thing yet. It's for women to join, but for the men that are here, we like you too, so we'll take your money. <laughs> so when you get a chance, thegeekatsclub.com, look them up. But we thank you for your um, support tonight. All right, so I am, as he stated, Sharice Jackson, the co-owner of New Direction Coaching Associates. I'm a life, coach of, a life coach of many sorts and a proud supporter of the Geek Gets Club. Can't you tell? Coaching. Coaching is one of the most misunderstood things in the world. People think we just meet and greet people. Our families think we're like Dr. Phil, but without the salary and the audience. But what we really do is make a lot of phone calls and set a lot of appointments. Now, I know you know some of these more notorious coaches like Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Dr. Susie Orman, and the newly reintroduced, if you watch OWN, Ian Van Zant, who I absolutely love. And then you have, hold your applause, us. <laughs> there is an estimated 80,000 certified coaches in the USA generating about 2.4 billion as an industry. 2.4 billion as an industry. All I'm saying is, can I get a piece of that? Just a piece. You know in the world of, of Matt or the Apple world, where they say there's an app for that. Whatever you need, whatever's going on, there's an app for that. Well, in the coaching industry, there's a coach for that. So whatever your situation is, there's a coach just for you. My husband and I, we got into coaching for the freedom and the money, 2.4 billion. Really, my husband has a, he has a background in sales and training. My background is HR and personal development. So we were like a match made in heaven in 2.4 billion. Coaching. <laughs> Coaching is not at all therapy. Therapy centers around your story. It centers around, it centers around your past. Coaching talks about accountability, goal setting, and empowerment, and it gets you off the couch. Why? Because it's all about action. Life isn't, it, it isn't a destination, it's a journey. And through the journey of life, we have to learn to embrace every transition that we encounter, giving up the hope or the dream that the past could have been any differently because it wasn't. Now, real wisdom comes from our ability to strategically collaborate and connect with other people because life was not designed for us to live it and travel it alone. You need to get connected. If you don't know who to connect with, I already told you, connect with the Geek Ads Club. Get connected because as you seek to empower people or to enlighten someone else's path, your life is already enlightened and empowered. Every gift, every talent we have is for the benefit of someone else. Our life's importance is measured by the way we impact or affect someone else's life. Now, help and empowerment. We use them synonymously, but they aren't the same. Help says, I'm deficient, I'm defective, and it reaches outward for somebody's assistance. Empowerment looks inside and says, everything that I need is already inside of me. I just need somebody to help me flip that switch. Now, let's get into it. You can learn life, you can go through life in two ways, mentor or mistake. Experience is an expensive teacher if you can afford it. Mentorship is simply the realization of an experience without the pain. Revealing thing number one, life is a cycle. Life is seasonal. Life transitions. Just like right now, we're going from summer to fall. We'll soon be at winter. 
back to spring, that's how your life is. So whatever's going on or wrong now, hold on. The season will shift. This young girl, 14-year-old activist named Mary Pat Hector, Google her. She was born in a bad part of Chicago, and this young lady, instead of making excuses, what she did is she organized two nonprofits with government grants to change and bring awareness to her community. Talk about making history. Life is a cycle. We talked about life being a cycle. Can we talk about something else? <laughs> anyway, um, power. Power is a personal thing. Power is something that's innate. You can't sit around and wait for people to speak power into your life. You have to look inside, no matter what the outside looks like, and realize that you're great, that you're awesome, and that you're wonderful. And you don't always get what you want in life. Why? Because life does not come with an easy button. Things do happen. Things go wrong. But it's not so much as what happens to you as it is what you make it mean to you. So take the principle and get rid of the pain. Now, you can't change anybody in life but yourself. And even that, if anybody knows me, is hard as hell trying to control myself. But being the recipient of a ready-made, blended family, I had to learn early on, in this transition, I only control me. Just me. Relationships. Relationships are important. They're vital to our well-being, but relationships are also what we make them. Relationships either fail or succeed by what we choose to invest in them. We have to make them work. Number seven. My grandfather passed a couple years ago. He was an awesome man. And the thing that came to my mind when he passed, no matter how great his life was, was that death is inevitable. The problem is, before death, so many people forget to opt in and live. Find your purpose. Don't just exist and live. And as you're living, realize that people are just people. We all go through some type of crap. So as you're going through life, remember, don't get so overcome with your own stuff that you can't be sympathetic to someone else. That's my time. Thank you very much. Woo! <laughs>